when Sean Paul reached out to me and told me that he's going to use a song for his album. Then it went platinum, mm-hmm. then multi, and then I got a big plaque. Well, I know the best, says, but I regret to top it up on this every boy that puts it in other pipe and smoke it up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I used to scrabble down my songs and then I, I, I made this song called, I made this song called, um, my first song, Never Done. Okay. A girl song. The girl them up, they never done, nah, done, nah, go put down, grab it up. Y'all pick, nah, you full up of the gum. And I got an opportunity to meet Chicken Chess. Okay. That, 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 that time Chicken Chess was, was a star already. Mm-hmm. Cause he had this song called Ragamuffin, my selector. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, and he produced that song. Wow. I just leave school when he produced that song. So it never do as big as I expected, but it go on with the thing. Mm-hmm. Play many dances. But back in 1993, I did a sound song, a, a, a song that for sound clashes, a song called Sound Boy General that create havoc in the dance hall. Wow. So I can say my big break came in 1993. Yeah. And from that, no turning back. And I, I wrote that song. Wow. wow, that's that's dope, man. You gotta understand, man. Everybody don't get the big song. No, some everybody. I, I, some people try forever and can't get the big I, I song. Want, I want to tell you this, right? Sometimes it's good to try and try and try and try and try and try and try until I succeed. Because sometimes, if you do the first one and it becomes successful, sometimes you don't know how to make the next one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't have a catalog. So the song can be so big that it overshadow yeah. your whole career too. You know a lot of a lot of one, one hit wonders. One hit wonders. Yeah. You know. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to try and try. And I'm, I'm happy that even to this date, I'm not really that man in the spotlight. Yeah. Because I don't like that spotlight. Because the spotlight going to burn you out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But if you stay far away and sometimes you go and sometimes you take away yourself, You'll be on it forever. Because you, you, you're balancing and you love, balance. you love balance. That's how I, I started productions. But you said earlier, you said that you purposely don't do any, um, I would say, profanities or any certain nastiness in your songs. Me sing, but man, back me sing, then, me sing them things that too, man. But okay. no, I'm grown. Because back then not, you used I tried to. not to do it. Okay, okay. Because I need 100% of listenership. Maturity, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you got to evolve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm not going to tell people that I'm squeaky clean. I'm not. <laughs> I got a little dirt too. <laughs> you know? But when you know better, you do better. There it is. That's you so know? true. And as I was saying, now, when I start dabbling productions, mm-hmm. and um, I see where you go to the studio, you mix the songs, you go make the, the, the master tape, and you print the record. They call it the stamper. Then you print the record, you get the record label. So I got the opportunity to know from the beginning to the record in music. And that is something these kids don't know. Because you can just go in the bathroom and sing a song and put it in an MP3 and you say, I got it record. But they don't know how it was made. Mm. You know? And then I start doing the productions. I got the opportunity to produce Sean Paul. Because mm. ah. he was asking about the Grammy, so I'm getting to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I produced Sean Paul and the and the album called the Dutty Rock. How okay? old were you at that time? Uh, what, which year was it again? 20, 2000, <laughs> 2000, I was twenty six. Okay. Yeah. So I got the chance to produce Sean Paul, and when Sean Paul reached out to me and told me that he's gonna use a song for his album, I was over excited. <laughs> Didn't know it was gonna do so big. Because Sean Paul was big that time. He, he was getting there. He oh, wasn't okay. that big at the time, but he okay. was getting there. Okay. But to be on a project, an album, that's good as a producer. Yeah. And my name going to call alongside that. That's how Dele Rank's name keep raining. Because when I'm not singing, I'm producing hits. When Sean Paul album sold gold, I said, wow, I'm going to get a gold plaque. <laughs> I've been singing for a while and I and didn't, get, I didn't one. get a gold plaque. Then it went platinum, mm-hmm. then multi, and then I got a big plaque. But I know the best says, but I regret to chop it up upon this every boy that puts it in another pipe and smoke it up. Wow. So I felt like, yo. This is what I need to I be did, doing. I did I did this work and I got and I received this. 
Then I produce my other song, my other breakthrough wow. song. Where they might do, where mm-hmm. they might try. Mm-hmm. And the Red Bull and Guinness really might produce that song. Where they might do, where they might try. My row will fly. Mm. Um, um, some people didn't know that I'm that instrumental in that beat because sometimes when they, th- when, when, when they talk about um, that rhythm, I, I don't really get a lot of props. But because I'm not a man who push up myself into the limelight, as I told you, I don't like the spotlight. Mm. I like to let my work speak for me because sometimes them are the words are not work, you know? So I produce my other tune, um, that song called Where Them I Do. I, I it, it billboard, I did the song Red Bull and Guineas, you know? I start making a lot of it records for myself as Deli Rang. So mm-hmm. I'm producing a lot of it records as pure music, Deli Rang. So mm-hmm. Deli Rang's name keep building and building and building and building. And I see that I can balance the music. So I can produce music and I can sing music. And now I'm writing music for other people. Is it hard to balance all of that though? It's and music. still have, because then when you have such a big requirement, everybody's pulling you to, I need this from you, I need that from you, to find time for your own music. Uh, but that's when they, but that's when they're going to put out, you have a, um, a board that you put stuff that you're going to do. So when, when it's showtime, it's showtime. Mm-hmm. When it's production time, it's production time. When it's deli ranks time, it's deli ranks time. You got to know that. And to balance it, it's good because some all right. I'll, I'll be in the studio and I'll be like playing a beat, and a lot of songs come to my head, and I may demo them down. And when I demo the song, that song gonna fit me, you know. You know, I'll call an artist that I'm close with and say, "Yo, I have a song here. I would like for you to sing this," mm-hmm. and I'll demo it and send it to them because you can hear and, there. And yeah. So, so, so being in the music for so long, working so hard. And so smart, I get to understand that a hit record will always be a hit record, no matter who sing it. Because most people don't know that the song that Popcorn have right now called Family, mm-hmm. I am the producer for that song. Family! Yeah, I know this. I say family. Sure. If I want to wow. Go. Tony Family, I mean say family. I produce that That's song. That's dope. Wow. So I'm, I'm not just an artist uh, or just a. Uh, producer who just produce I make it records mm-hmm. and because I make it records I understand how to be humble with that mm-hmm. because the more humble you be you're gonna get success I got a lot bone, I got a bone to pick with you um, um, you know a bone you a been, fish bone or yeah, chicken bone yeah. <laughs> you know you you one of those guys that we called on early and when we had did uh, unique fashions? We needed a, a, a song, right? And we called you, and you you gave us this. You said, <laughs> "Find it." Same family with him. Yeah. It's all about unique fashion. Unique hustle. The place to get your best fashion. One one four zero one Elm Road, Bald Spring. That's in Texas. Yeah. Them have the right fashion for your fashion need. The Grammy Award winning producer Deliran says so. Contact Stephanie R E and everything set. All right, here's enough for my shop. No bad differentiation. Friends not to fall out of a foolishness. Can we come bring come we get flushing out of it? So yeah. when we got you to do that, that was that was live and I loved it. But we blew up on a boss talk p- platform. And, and it's everywhere. And yes. we get 16 to 20 million views just on YouTube alone sometime in a month's period. Yes. And we hadn't got Daily Ranks to do us a Boss Talk 101, uh, uh, something to where we can get those views well, to hear his what? voice well, all what? over the place. That, that's our family thing goes sometime. Sometimes <laughs> you're so busy because I'm not the busy one. You're the busy one. <laughs> you're getting the 16 million and 20 million views. I'm just a man that... I, I need that. I, I'm just a man that hide away from the spotlight. You take, you take, you take it. You got to break... You got to do a boss talk I, I, one-on-one I will, drop I will, for I will, us. I will, I will, I will. And that way we could play it and, right. and people can hear it. And, and, and you got to throw that Daily Ranks name in there I'll and that Grammy it. Award name, that whole thing back in there this, for me. This billboard you. So we can grab me a so word, we, you. Yeah. Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101. Where the boss is talk. 
This is the podcast with the boss talk Official Miss Jamaica make it start This is the boss talk with the boss talk E CEO make it start We're not dead poor, we're not dead poor Boss talk of the best podcast in store We're not dead poor, we're not dead poor Subscribe and get the latest now for sure Create content every day From Texas we lock down JA On YouTube we have the best display Interview rappers and singers and enough DJ this is Nelly Ranks, the world general, the silent giant, the Grammy producer, the billboard artist talking about Boss 101, where the bosses talk. And tell them we're not dead poor, we're not dead poor. Subscribe now to Boss Talk Podcast 101, YouTube channel. Nelly Ranks says so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.